Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Shao Stuhl, and this is the second episode of Modders Mod Review, a series where we check out mods from a modder's perspective. As a reminder, if you find or are the author of a mod, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below on a mod you'd like reviewed, and I'll see what I can do. For this episode, we're going to be reviewing the Shaustool Miscellaneous mod. Here it is right here. We can see that there are three images, and they relate to different things. Here we can see there are extendable ramps with large and small ship variants, and they are survival ready. There is a lift, which has large and small ship and survival ready, and blast shutters, which are survival ready, but are only large ship to my understanding, and they blend seamlessly with my light armor. Scrolling down, we can see how many subs it has, 14,000 subs. We can see that I've been doing modding since May of 2014. We can see the same thing of all the blocks should be in a Shoutcorp tab and not appear in the alt tab, but as with the previous episode, we discussed the problem that was with that, so we don't need to cover that again. All right, so large and small ship. DirectX 9, DirectX 11. As a reminder, DirectX 9 is going away. The available blocks are three extendable ramps of different lengths, a lift and a blast shutter. And here we have the link for the master pack and master collection again, the Patreon link, and then the two forums, or the official forum and then the official forum thread for all of my stuff. And then we could see that I try to be fairly active with the people posting here. And here we can see that it was updated last on February 28th, and that puts it in the three month window of when it was last updated. So we know for sure that this is more than likely current and not having any issues. So I am subscribed to the mod and we're gonna go ahead and check it out. So we'll close this and start up Space Engineers. And I'll start up a new world. And we'll start on Lone Survivor. Safe. Offline. We'll go to the Steam Workshop version of it so you can see it from your perspective. And it is somewhere here. There it is. And okay. Advanced. And changing some of the settings. All right, that looks good. And we'll start. So I like to start a new world when re reviewing a mod. That way you can see it from a fresh install. So it's very unlikely that you'll see any errors. And it's a good idea if you're trying to check out a new complex mod and you have a huge list of mods that you use. All right, so here we are on Lone Survivor. And we're going to just jump right into things. Scrolling down, we can see the blocks here. And then we can see them in the Shellcorp tab here. And it looks like all of them have a small ship version. So we'll go ahead and check out the small ship version compared to the large ship, just so we could better see how things look. Let's go ahead and just add these. Here is the large blast shutter. We can see some slits in it, and then these top bars and if I remember how I did it, if you set it this way, the ramp is going to be coming down like this. Yep. And then we get the lift. I'm going to go ahead and set it like this. And then the extendable ramps. <coughs> so there those are. Now, I plan on making these airtight when they're closed, so you can actually have a proper hanger with them, but that will be a bit down the road because I have a whole lot of stuff to work on, and 
not enough time apparently all right so here we could see these you can see they have some interesting design we have the armor texture from the rotors and let's go ahead and throw a reactor down so we can go ahead and see what these can do oops so control panel we get the blast shutter slant so it is a door so if I press open, it should open up. There we go. So I'm not sure what's causing this little white outline here. I've been trying to fix it, but I haven't found out the proper solution yet. But from what we could see, it looks pretty much smooth on the front. We get a little bit of shadowing here. Uh, there's probably something I could do about it, but I can't think of anything offhand. And looking underneath it, we can see these little pegs here which slide into those holes so we try to make it a little bit more uh, interesting looking going and we'll check out the lift next and I believe all of these blocks are actually advanced doors if I remember right because of how I wanted to do them all right so here we got the lift it's one width three height so press that and we can see it go down. There we go. And then we get the ramps. I'll just open all three at once. So there we go. So here we can see the lift. You can see I have a panel here, but it's not working. There's a couple ways I can fix this, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. When I push the next update, I'll probably fix this. So you could actually access it down here and when it's up here. Because I believe there's actually an empty somewhere around there that you can click on. Next, we got the ramps. And it looks like they're all on the same angles. So we can expect them to all be able to walk up. And we could arrange these in different fashions. I have them set up this way so you could walk up. But you put them on the side here and they'll go down so you can exit out the bottom of a ship. And they seem to be fully working collision wise. So we know we can use them as a ramp for vehicles as well. So let's go ahead and look at the collision boxes for these. And it looks like they are mesh collisions. You can tell that because they are red. And they all seem to be pretty good. The bar here has a collision. The lift has proper collision. The bar here looks to be fairly thick, so you can't actually shoot through that if you wanted to, but that's not really an issue. And then we can see that this has proper collision as well, as well as two collision boxes back here, which you can tell by that seam. That way we could have this little indent here. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the model dummies. So you can see that there's this advanced door dummy right there and that I can't actually click on it. So what I'll do is I'll retract all of them. So these, this, and this, and close. And yeah, so I still can't click on the dummy here. I need to figure out how to fix that. I think there is a update that's supposed to be coming to allow the MT to travel with it unless it's already in. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't messed with this in a little while. The miscellaneous pack is mostly just a whole bunch of prototype mods that I put together and I wanted to see how people reacted to them. So if I expand these extendable ramps, I'll probably end up separating it into its own mod. And the same goes for the lift and the blast shutters. All right, so there was a small version. So we'll go ahead and check that out. Let's go ahead and hide that for now. So a new small ship, place that, grab armor block, and more or less make that. All right, so I should be able to just place these on here. As we can see, the design is the same, so they should pretty much work out. 
the same way. Go ahead and place our little reactor here. And I will just open all of them. Looks like the blast, I didn't get the blast shutter. So go ahead and open that. So that looked like that opened fairly quick. Everything looks pretty good. Check out the collision. Everything looks to be good there. And yeah. So if you were to use my light armor blocks, this would actually blend with them. So you'd have like a port on the side of a small ship for like a hidden gun or door or some such like that. And then the ramps also work. So you could have a extendable ramp to exit your ship and actually make it down to ground level. And we could see that it makes about, uh, I'd say about four or five with the longest one height for that one. If I go into the code, it should actually, or the block menu, it actually lets you know. So this one's going to give you a height of two, height of three, and height of four. This one is one wide and it goes three high. And then this one is just a slant. I should probably change it to like a 2x slant or something like that because of the style of the block. But I'll get to that eventually. Now for criticism that I could be providing to the mod author. When I went to place this down. I wanted to get rid of that. There we go. You notice you can actually see. So just up to the left of the cursor, you could see that you could see through the mesh on all three of these spokes. So what I could do is say, hey, you need to add a mesh here to actually fix it. So you don't have a see-through mesh because it sometimes looks kind of ugly and could be unintended. So I would say, hey, you need to go fix this. So my next update will probably include that fix as well. All right, the other thing we want to look at is the <coughs> mount points. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And here we can see that the mount points for the extendable uh, blast shutter are exactly where all the mesh touches the edge of the block. So that is good. The mount points for the uh, lift are all around it. The reason I did that, if I remember right, is so I can make more versions of the extendable ramp. So you can have a modular size. So I could actually have only a few versions so you could have like a big lift for a ship that just lowers down instead of having tons of versions of these that go different heights and open different amounts and are wider and all that various stuff. Going into the extendable ramp, we can see that it is mountable on all sides. I'm going to have to tweak this so it actually provides proper air tightness when it's open and closed but I'll get to that eventually. Again, I have a lot of stuff to do. And everything should be the same on the small ship version. And it looks like they are. All right, so component wise, these look pretty cheap for the most part. The blast shutter might compare to the door. So 40 construction components, 10 interior plates, eight steel plates back here. So yeah, it is essentially a door. Coming over to the side, we could see that most all of these share the same component costs. The lift is the same size or the same amount between the larger and the small ship. So that means that it's going to be strong and it's a good idea because it takes up the same amount of space as a large block. Getting to the blast shutter. We can see that the component cost on the small ship version is the same as the large ship version, which means I should tone that down to be something more like one of these where they have a whole bunch of ones and twos. And that way it's a lot more accessible. But with the way Space Engineers is designed, the amount of components directly influences the strength of a block. So this blast shutter having all those extra components makes it stronger but also a lot heavier, especially on something like a small ship. 
but the ramps here we can see that they are easier to build because of their component costs but they're all the same between them because in their closed state they take the same amount of space <clears throat> so in the next update for this mod these icons will probably be blue and I'll have most likely the posts there fixed and probably some other little stuff there as I go hey I want to add this and that whatever all right so let's go ahead and check out the mod folder to see how it compares to the vanilla stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and save and exit now by all of my mods being survival ready that means they have construction models if a block is survival ready that should mean that it has at least one construction model and it has proper component cost balancing otherwise it's going to be imbalanced and not actually work the way you would want it to in a survival scenario all right so i'm going to bring up this page so we can have the nine digit number right here and in our mod folder i have a quick link right here so i can just get to it real fast Scrolling down, I should find it under 307175 and 762, so this one right here. So go ahead, copy and paste, scroll up, select the end, dot zip, extract to nine digit number, and go into the folder. Now to make sure that we have the right one, right click the thumb, go to photos, and there you can see we got it right there. All right, so the textures, we have the GUI, we have the icons, this don't use icon, I usually throw in with, with most of my mods because I'll have a whole bunch of various blocks thrown in that I'm trying to sort out. And it's easier to just keep it there it's really small, it's only 21 kilobytes, so it doesn't make the download size that much bigger. Going back, we can look at the model textures, and here we can see that I have more of the 16 by 16 textures, and then these larger 1024 by 1024 images that make up the bump map on the armor texture. And then I have this particle folder here. It is still there as when I was making, I believe it was the solar panels, I had them in the miscellaneous pack and then I converted them to their own sub pack and I just left the glass there. Backing up, I can go into the models folder and here we can see that the blast shutters and the lift is actually separate. So going to the blast shutter we can see that there are the different parts, the construction model as it should be and then going to the lift we can see that the ramps and the lifts are all together and we have the different parts here that make up all the door leaf bits. Going back, we can go into the data folder. Here we can see that there is a single block categories. That means that all the blocks in there are going to be right here. And we can see that they are the advanced doors and what block they are. So that's what makes it show up in the shell corp tab. Now I have the blast shutters and the lifts and ramps separate because I would I plan on putting them in their own sub mod eventually when I expand on the amount of blocks they have. So here we can go to the blast shutters. We can see that they are indeed an advanced door, and it should be the same for these as well. So yeah. Looking through, we could see the subtype, display name, block size, component costs. Uh there's build time of 24. They take one and a half times longer to actually disassemble, if I remember that right. And then we get all the subparts. So here we can see the five subparts for the blast shutter. And then we can see the sequence at which they move. We can see here that they are sliding on the X axis. And then they open a max of one, two, three, four, and five and then the different settings there. So if you wanted to make an advanced door mod, this would be a very good example to actually get an idea of how this code works 
and see how it actually looks in game. So this is just using a slide method. There are other methods available and they are used in the ramps. So here's the lift. It's just a slide again. Here's one of the extendable ramps, all the pieces. And here we can see that they consist of a rotate and a bunch of slide. And they got their collision model. And that pretty much wraps those up. All right, I don't think there is too much else to discuss. This was a pretty straightforward mod and explained everything it is that makes it up, as well as providing some insight of what I'm going to be doing into the future. I'm going to be adding more of these, adding more of these, and adding more of these. So you can actually have a full suite of stuff to use, which will be quite nice for a lot of people, as well as some of my own personal designs that I want to work on. All right, so again, if you find or are the author of a mod, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you'd like to help me continue doing what it is I do, please check out my Patreon page. A link is in the description below. Not only does it help me out to create more mods, but it also helps those that I teach to create mods of their own. It essentially allows me to dedicate more time to do what it is I do. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.